have some fall weather, and we're going to get that fall weather as we get past Thursday on Friday. 40% rain chance on Friday. Then you look at those temperatures on the backside of that, really dropping down from 54 on Saturday morning to 44 on Sunday, 42 on Monday. Finally, we're starting to get a chance to have some fall weather. That won't, that'll be very nice. Switching gears now, an event coming up in a few days. It's going to bring awareness to homeless young people in our city. Steve Beagle with Sable Studley is here to share some of the details. Good morning, Steve. Good, morning, Good to see Gabriel. you again, as always. Likewise. This event coming up, and you've done this before. Talk to people who never heard what this sleep out is. Talk about what it is and the, the organization is benefiting. Sleep, uh, executive sleep out is one night a year that 60 to 70 Houston executives come out, sleep, on cardboard on a sidewalk mm -hmm. and in order to raise money for Covenant House Texas, yeah. which Covenant House Texas has been serving the homeless uh, youth of the Houston Harris County area for over 30 years. Uh, every night there are 60 to 70 young people who are provided shelter, food, but it also it's not just a place to, to stay to get out of the cold. There are programs to support uh, job uh, uh, finding and and education is stressed mm -hmm. at Covenant House, Texas. So the executive sleeping out is just a way to call attention to it. You hope that a lot of people recognize that you're in your comfort of your homes all the time and there are children out there all the time who need this kind of support. That's exactly right, Cambrell. We, uh, we sp spend time with the kids. We go out and do outreach uh, and uh, then we sleep out there. But we're really trying to raise money and raise awareness of the problem of homeless youth. How many years have you been doing this? This will be my fourth year. And you know, I just saw the forecast, and so it looks like it's going to be good. But you've been I was out there. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> you've been out there cold and rain as well, have you? Not? I have. I have slept through a monsoon. I've slept through almost freezing temperatures. How has this changed your your philosophy or your vision about the challenge we face in our city? It is such an eye opener to see what these kids you know a lot of people a lot of people i think the face of homelessness is the person with a cardboard standing at this at the stoplight where they stop but when you see what these kids are going through where they've come from and where they get as a result of the covenant house program it is really eye-opening how can people get involved well first off we have the candlelight visual which you will graciously be emceeing for us again this year uh, on thursday night at seven o'clock at covenant house and we want everybody to come out. There'll be civic groups, there'll be Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, there's music. It's a fun celebration of these kids who've come off the street and have made it through the Covenant House program. I'm looking forward to seeing you again and seeing all the people who do so much good work on behalf of Covenant House. Thank you, Steve. Thank Appreciate you. It. See you on Cameron. Thursday night. By the way, you can find all this information and a replay of this event, uh, this segment online, click to Houston.com. After the show, it'll be posted under the video tab on the homepage.